and we're gonna dive right into it. We're doing some more Mass Effect, baby. We're gonna see if we can't finish it today. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to finish it tonight. This would be a really good time to finish it. It would line up really well with uh, the holiday weekend here that I'm about to be crazy busy over and not have a whole lot of time to stream during. So let's see what we got, man. Let's see what we got. This is also my third stream for the day. I'm like, I'm on a roll here right now. I am on a roll right now. Although I gotta look at my uh, stream here, make sure everything's staying up to speed. Looks like it is. Looks like it is. We were having some problems earlier today, but you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and keep working with it and hope that things uh, pan out okay. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't, honestly. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. But yeah, we should be. We should be, I, if I'm remembering the timeline of the story, we should be good to go, because we're going to go to the one Prothean planet, and then from there we finish things off at the, the Citadel. That's what I think happens. Um, we're going to find out, though. I'm going to find out if my memory is there. Um, I do want to, I don't remember exactly what all I was doing when I left off last time, I apologize for that burp. That was rude. Um, oh, man, I just got the hiccups. I ate a whole mess of homemade fried wings. They're delicious. They're amazingly good. I love making homemade wings. It's one of my favorite things to make for myself. But also, they make me dehydrated and burpy. So, you know, buckle up, buckaroos. All right, we got to check and see if there's anything else we can do romantically here. I don't remember if we did anything. But if we're going to commit to this... Commander. Yeah. To check up on me. Yeah, we'll say I was worried. Why not? How are you feeling? Dr. Chalkmoss assures me um, I'm going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. I, I, I can't you tell if this conversation is familiar or not because it seems like every time we're checking on her, she is like feeling messed up because she like read my brain and apparently my brain is all kinds of uh, really confused. Um, I actually feel a little sorry for him to. Um, I'm gonna go with. Uh, yeah. We'll say so do I, because we're just trying to woo her, so we're, like, trying to, like, you know, show that we that we feel the same way as her. I mean, personally, although this is definitely, like, me speaking, not speaking through the lens of Shepard, Saren's a little bitch that can just, like, fucking stop. Like, he's not thinking about things logically. He's just being a little bitch. Um... But did he think he could stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? I say, yeah, we'll say we'll never know. Um, I don't think it was even a, a lust for power and glory with Saren. I think he's just a little bitch that thought he saw a way out but was not really thinking things through. That's what I think it comes down to, truthfully. I really do. I really do. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Because it's important for us to understand the psychology of a basic fictional villain. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, without anything else natural, I don't think there is anything else for us to progress through. Yeah, because it's talking about Benizzi and Asari culture. And I don't think those have anything to do with uh, the romance thing. So, uh, yeah, okay, so we're going to call that good. I must have already taken care of all the romance stuff. Um... So, um, that's good. We'll, uh, we'll head up and head towards our next mission, which is the, uh, it's that Prothean planet is where I think we left off in the story, if I'm remembering properly. But we will find out presently. I forwarded the mission update to the Yeah, here we go, here we go. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino yep. wants us to this report back it. to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with uh, Saren and his gap. Yeah, good. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Wow, that like is with that scar on her face. That's like a really sinister look. Okay, there's another stop at the Citadel beforehand. I I guess I don't remember exactly what happens here. I'm trying to remember what step I'm missing. Oh well, we're gonna we're gonna find out presently. We're gonna find out. Good job, and talk to these goobers. To the uh, yeah, it's good that they're finally taking action. Correct. 
If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for All right, got her. The face tattoos that the Asari and the Turians have, those, like, tribal markings, they're so cool. I love that they went with, like, the iridescent white for most of them. It's really rad. Um, patrols are stationed at every mass relay. Let's just say, what about Islas? I don't want to go criticizing them when they're finally helping us, you know what I mean? How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible yeah. from Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus system. Yeah, so this is where we're going to get to go there singularly, I guess. The time for discretion, Commander. Saren's um, greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This yeah. is over. Uh, yeah, it will send me after him. That's perfect. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I, can be discreet. I don't know if we can be discreet, though. I feel like that's kind of a bold claim on Shepard's front. Yeah, yeah, there he is, there he is. <laughs> I don't know if we do. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to be so aggressive. I don't know, let's say, uh, what about the conduit? Let's try the, doing that one. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction mm. from his real plan to attack. Yeah, they're still not gonna send me after him. So, let's just say the conduit's real. If Saren finds I don't the know. conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. I really don't like that they force you to be a very I confrontational the shepherd. Isn't willing to let this go. There are serious. I mean, I, I, I guess, I guess what I should say is, I wish I had the opportunity to not be a confrontational shepherd. I'm not even gonna say that I dislike that they made it do it. Like that's Shepard's character. They did that on purpose. Um, that's how they wanted Shepard to be, and that's fine. They can write the protagonist how they want. Like, it's kind of a role-playing game, but I would say that this game is more so, like, it's it's not a full-blown role-playing game where you can be the hero or the villain if you choose. It's more so you can choose in what way you go about being a hero, um, because, uh, um, Shepard definitely has a very predefined personality. It's not a nothing personality that you fill in the blanks for. Shepard is meant to be a very specific individual. Um, so, and, and like, I recognize that, truthfully. And I suppose that's probably why the ending of 3 never really bothered me. Um, well, part of the reason why it never really bothered me. Because, in a lot of ways, I see Shepard as a predefined character. So that was the ending that was going to be told. Like, that was the ending they wanted to tell. That was the ending to Shepard's story. Like it was Shepard's story, not mine. I just got to control some of the some of the specifics along the way, uh, so I was never really super bothered by it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna say this is a mistake. After I yeah, you uh, that one I will say. I you know, I'm supposed to be a specter, having all kinds of like authority and you know discretion at my yeah you know at, at my at my. I guess I would say discretion, discretion at my discretion. Like I have the ability to use my discretion for anything. Allegedly, and it just, uh, it just, like, doesn't really pan out that way. Ah, Is she gonna console me? Because I'm all huffy and sad Gun. about things. Shepherd, I can't yeah. They did She's gonna be a sweetheart. Uh, I mean, so I always have a hard time when someone says, like, it's not your fault. It's like, they know. They're offering consolation because they feel bad. They're not accepting blame. Like, her saying, I'm sorry, isn't accepting blame. So I always think that's kind of a dumb line. But these other ones are a lot more aggressive than I want to be with her. So, it's not your fault. yeah, we'll do that. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody Those eyebrows! <laughs> Why are they drawn on? Everything. It's like with a piece of charcoal, just like, er, the er. <laughs> Um... Command and ground the Normandy. You can't. I mean, okay, that is a very true statement. Um, it's a very true statement because politicians don't want to lead; they just want to win. That's why the politicians always win. <laughs> um, let's uh, let's say there are bigger issues. I like that one. Perhaps we could appeal. And get them to reverse their mm. decision. Not now, Liara. No, we're definitely not going to be mean to her. We're trying to we're trying to be sweet on her. I tried. I mm. <laughs> so you're going to walk away? You oh, now Liara's getting the tough love on us. To uh, uh, 
I, so like I feel like almost all of these ones are like me telling her what to do. So it's like me telling her to stay strong. Yes. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, oh, uh, we're gonna make physical contact. Ah. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh. Now kiss. Now kiss. Now kiss. Come on. Sorry to interrupt. Ah. <laughs> from Captain Anderson. Joker, you wily, you wily one. <laughs> uh, yeah, just give me the message. Just play cool. Just play cool. him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. <sighs> the classic, uh, the classic Leia solo moment. All right, so if we're taking, okay, I don't know. This it's really irrelevant who comes with us. Um, almost feel like for. Story symmetry. I kind of want Ash and Garrus along, cause they're they they're the two who are like, I mean everyone's invested in it, but in their own ways. But I would say these two are the most invested in this whole anti saren thing. These guys are just kind of along for the ride, you know. Like we don't really delve as deep into their hatred for Saren in specific. Like they're just they're more so they believe Shepard, and that Saren's dangerous. These guys have a bit more of a personal uh, involvement in it because of like the opening of the game so we're gonna let them play a role in this one for now for now Equalizing look at that kick-ass red armor exterior, that Garrus is in this shit's rad who who is that lady since when do you wait in here with us has the deck. I, I don't know if I've ever seen her in my life this mechanic All right, well whatever I've never seen her in my life I don't remember her at all in this game. Alright. I know there are a couple side quests that can be done here in this in the Citadel that I haven't finished, but I kind of don't feel like it, so I'm not going to do them. Because <laughs> I know in one, they don't make a huge difference. Um, I think namely... I think namely the one that I'm still missing is the Scanning the Keepers one. I think I still haven't completed that one, um, and I know there was the one with the the um, prostitute that uh, I. She's not a prostitute. She's more of an escort, but you know what I mean. Um, I never I never came through with that one. But that's because I didn't have the good points to to convince the one guy of anything, so it just never came to be. Um, and then there's her, um, which I think she's gonna force Commander us. Shepherd? She doesn't force us. We can talk to you know she's right here. We'll talk Kalisa to her. Been seen in this is the one where you can deck her, Would you just like right in the like pow right in the kisser. Like you can really give it to her. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll what answer some questions. Know? You've been given a unique position to represent, unique position to represent a race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. I feel like I missed this one. From immediately after becoming Humans a specter. Trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 <laughs> years. With that in mind, yep, yeah, this was supposed to happen a long time ago. Um, uh, honored. Yeah, we'll play it. We'll play the good old. We'll, we'll join the good old boys club. Um, for this one. Employment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel places needs? Yeah, it's not like that. The council is concerned with the needs of the whole Yeah, we'll play we'll we'll play we'll play the the rah rah game here. We'll do it. We'll be we'll behave. Especially since we're about to tell the council to go sit on it. So your missions. Um is there anything you'd like to say about it? Turians helped build it. Actually the Normandy was co developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth I love how accurately they portray the, the media with this thing with their insistence on trying to, to stir up shit I'm in command and last I checked I'm <laughs> where there isn't any goes for my crew. human yes but you do oh, the boy. Citadel now commander speaking of your new job did the council <sighs> to sabotage it's still a beautiful day earlier today I was just absolutely glowing because it was uh, a beautiful day um, and uh I'm still I'm still reveling in it. It's it's still a beautiful day all day today. It's so comfortable right now. I'm I'm very content with it. We'll say there was an accident. We'll go ahead and play the 
There was an accident yeah. in binary helix labs. In the interest of protecting the company's... I don't know if I'd call it an accident, but I also understand the concept of confidentiality. I have to do that for my job quite regularly when it comes to, like, complaints and whatnot. Can't disclose who made a complaint or to what end, just that there was a complaint and I need to do an inspection slash investigation. That's all it is. If we earn it... She really wants a full interview here. And I'm gonna give it to her. Respect is earned. And I firmly believe we can earn it. Yeah. You're an idealist, Commander, but a sincere one. I hope you're right. One last question. One last question, Commander. Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Um you comment on that. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna play uh Um I can't confirm or deny that. I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Boom. Don't worry. We'll <laughs> Don't worry, out. we'll find the out. That's <laughs> such a bratty thing to say. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Took care of that. Alright, um... I was, oh yeah, we're supposed to meet him at Flux. Let's just fast travel there. And then trying to remember how to get there. I think that's in the wards, isn't it? Yeah. Flukes. Flukes. Alright. Okay, so I need to find... need to find our boy here. Captain Anderson, there's our boy. There's our boy. Oh, great. I see I am dropping frames. That's super cool. Super cool. Um, okay. <sighs> I'm really disappointed that we're dropping frames right now. I don't know why. I have no idea why we would be dropping frames right now. Okay, it seems to have stabilized. I'm going to hope that it's stabilized, but if it keeps doing it, I might cut off, reset my internet, and turn back on. And finish the stream from there. And just accept that there will be two things from today. But it seems to be stable right now, so we'll go with it. Um, yeah. Yeah, just like when they screwed you. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right he now. The, the lighting yeah, makes him look like he's horribly sunburnt. Like all kinds of splotchy and sunburnt right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's not that simple. one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems. But if we override the ambassador's orders, we can get them to... Oh, yeah, I remember this. I remember what's about to go down. I forgot about this, but now I remember. Uh, yeah, just tell me what to do. We're not even going to pretend to be concerned with him. We got bigger things. We got bigger fish to fry than worrying about our careers right now. Damn it, humanity's on the line. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're right. in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and feign concern. It's too dangerous. No, don't. It's too dangerous. Hi, Kitty. Are you going to come sit in front of the monitor? This is your new favorite thing to do. Oh, you're just going to sit right on where my mouse goes? Hopefully he won't be here. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Well, don't get annoyed with me. You're the one who decided to sit right next to my mouse. Like, don't get all annoyed when I bump into your paws. You're, you're, you've kind of become very neglectful of personal space lately. Um, Leela, honey, you can't rub my hand when it's on the mouse. You're going to make me click things, honey. Ah, uh, yeah, break into his office. Let's do it. You'll have a better chance if you go after the ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd see. The ambassador has made Oh, this yeah. Are you ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't care about finishing all the other stuff that I'm missing. I want to do it. I want to go after this ding dong. We're going to go after this ding dong. It's going to happen. Kitty, honey, I, honey, I love you so much, but you're making me, like, draw weapons in the middle of a bar. Like, that's not, that's not cool. You can't do that. All right, yeah, right, that, 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 let's do this. Um, yeah, we got to go to C-Sec. It, it won't let us fast travel to the Normandy, which is always a weird thing to me. 
I don't understand why they wouldn't let us do that. I'm aware I've arrived at the CSEC Academy. Kitty. Honey. Honey bun. Leela. You are right in front of the monitor. Thank you. This cat. I adore her. But also, what a turd. What a little turd you are. Yeah, that's you. You're a turd. You know it. You know exactly what you're doing all the time. You know, you know exactly what you're doing at all times. You little butt. Okay. All right, here it goes. Is our mechanic still there? Oh, mechanic's gone. Must have fixed up whatever she was working on. Hi, Kitty. I know. Hi, sweetie. You look. Your your eye is looking pretty big. You look like you're about ready to get wound up. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Fuck yes, this is great. This is so great. <laughs> so good. So good. So I could tell that there was a slight shade change, but with my color blindness, that hardly looked like a change at all in those colors. And like it's more so like the shade just changed, but I'm assuming it went from like red to green or something with that orange background. Oy. We're off, baby. We are on our way. Things are gonna get exciting. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna like. We're just we're we're here. I'd be remiss just to make sure, like, I know we had the almost kiss, but I just want to make sure that there wasn't something that we missed, so we could get our, we could get our romance with our sweetheart, with our darling, our beloved. Alright. Don't mind me, Chagos! Don't listen in, please don't listen in! Oh, man, hiccups still from the food. Too much food hiccups. The best kind of hiccups. Oh, my goodness, that was a yawn, kitty. My goodness, sweetheart. Nothing important. Okay, no, I guess there isn't anything. Never mind. Yeah, no, you were right. I have nothing important. Just don't mind me, Dr. James. We're just gonna go find another place. Don't, just don't, don't worry about me. <laughs> Alright, um. Kitty. You're being super cute, but I also know this look. This looks like the kind of look where you're gonna attack me for trying to pet you. And you're like, look how cute and fluffy I am. And then I touch you and you're like, no. I mean, Message it is tradition, in. but. Pass it through. Commander Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. <laughs> she shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you uh, yeah, I did the best that I could. Uh, please ignore the fact that I'm like AWOL right now. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. <laughs> you handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. Just wanted to let you know what the response was. Kitty. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth They're so down. adorable. Alright. Back out and back out. And we are going to go to Ilos. Let's do it. Come on, baby. Let's do this. I know, little kitty. My goodness, honey. What's up, little girl? Alright. Do you want to just, like, come here and snuggle on my lap? Like, what are you doing? You're, you're demanding attention, but you're being in the most inconvenient places possible. There we go. That, I could tell that's what you wanted. Okay. Oh, no, never mind. We're just gonna go ahead and sit. No, do not put your ass on my keyboard. Do not do that while I'm playing. <laughs> this cat. This cat's making me come across like a raving lunatic. All right, let's do it. Let's go to let's go to Elos. Oh, oh, oh! We're not gonna get in trouble. Hold up. I, ho I hope I won't get in trouble. Am I, am I gonna get in trouble? Am I gonna get kicked off of of Twitch because there's 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 lovely happy things happening? Oh, I gotta get ready to like go to like the just chat thing just to be safe. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
Uh, oh, whoops, I gotta, I gotta leave it here. It'll be okay. Yes, we're not going to fail. Please. We're gonna be in love forever, Liara. Yeah. Yes. 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 Make it special. Uh. You know, what? we're just gonna say, yeah. So do I. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. Okay. If we're gonna ask her if she's ready anyway, then. Then yeah. Us. Well, our minds have already united, but let's go ahead and add the bodies to it. Why not? Uh. Yes, I will. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I gotta be ready to like, I gotta be ready to like just chatting this one. Oh wait, I can't. Is it going? Okay, there it goes. There it goes. Oh god, it's hot and heavy. Oh god, naughty things are happening. Children, look away. Children, look away. No, no, our innocence is ruined. What have I done to us? Oh god, she's got the ink eyes. Oh, it's a butt. Oh god, are we? Oh god, I froze it on there. <laughs> Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! There's so much butt! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I'm in trouble! I'm in trouble! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! It's too racy! It's too risque! Oh no! Oh no! Oh jeez! Oh man! It's over! It's over! My career as a streamer is over! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, it was incredible. Oh, she's Five still naked. Oh god. Oh god. It's just so unholy. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> all right, we survived. We survived. They haven't busted down my door yet. <laughs> They didn't bust down the door yet, so okay, I think I think they're gonna let me live for now. <laughs> ah, there's so much butt. And there was a bunch of nippleless boobs there too. Did you see that? They Barbie dolled them. There's nothing but lumps. There was no anatomy. Just curves everywhere. It was horrible. <laughs> uh Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Oh my goodness. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have Solid stuff to right there. Picking up some strange Good high quality entertainment. That's what you all come here for, right? Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. That's okay, okay, I've recovered. My heart my heart is still racing. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. <laughs> We're good. Oh, I'm sorry, they're talking. I haven't been paying attention at all. I was just thinking about last night. Oh my god. Oh man. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to All try. Right. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. There is no other landing zone. It's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't. I can do it. Yeah, Joker, you can do it. I can. Do don't it. let your disability hold you back, Here, Joker. Head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. All right. Well. You know I'm going to take her just in case we have the chance to like hide in a corner and get a little last minute nookie. Hey psycho, you missed you missed the the sexy scene. It was it was scary. I thought I thought the Twitch police were going to bang down my door. I was scared. <laughs> there were curves everywhere and nobody had any clothes on. It was horrible. It was horrible. My innocence was shattered. Um I'm going to take her and let's take Garrison. Yeah, cuz they're pretty rad. We'll accept that squad. Accept it. Alright, and here we go. And as is tradition. <clears throat> Hold on. This is like one of my favorite things. Because we know what's about to happen. Because we landed on all of those other planets here. So we know what's about to happen. You're ready for this. I'm ready for this. They're just going to yeet the fuck out of us. Ready for this? You two, keep moving inside. Ah. It's coming. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> just fucking throw the tank like it's a shot put. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid every time. Every time. Just like a fucking curveball from like, you know, Randy Johnson. Just like, wha-boom. Just like chuck us. Like skipping a rock across the water, only it's a tank with people in it. 
Oh my god, it's so good. So good, I can never get enough of it. Alright. Now we get to... Oh. Oop. Oh, come on, I see you there. Boop, boop. Get your stupid little shield out of here. Get that crap out of here. Oh my god, yes, you're not joking, Psycho. Like, it would just absolutely destroy any real life vehicle, which is like, that's just the part of it that cracks me up so hard. Is the fact that it's like, there's no, there's no definition of physics that makes that a possible thing. You know, it's just like, you can't throw a vehicle with that velocity and have it be totally fine. Like, you just can't. Okay, teammates, I know you're trying to help, but you're doing a lot of crossfire here at something that's just not even visible. There we go. Now he's visible. Oh, oh, they got the big ones. Oh, no. Okay, you know what I should probably do? I should probably use my... I know I put my hotkeys up there, but I haven't memorized them, and I don't really feel like trying to figure it out now. Okay, we'll overload that shit. And then let's do maybe a sabotage. Just like the Beastie Boys. Just sab sabotage. Wish those Beastie Boys not a great machine. They're, they're kind of interchangeable. I mean, truth be told. I love them both, but they're pretty interchangeable bands. Hi! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. I mean, this guy's got a ridiculous amount of health, but he's gonna just like spend his time not shooting me. It's not gonna be that big of a deal to take him down. Uh, I I know next to nothing about vehicles as a general thing, so I'm gonna take your word for it that maybe it has a chance, but I'm leaning towards your uh, towards your uh, ladder assessment in that Priya yeah, probably not. I feel like physics just doesn't allow for a wheeled vehicle to be, like, flung at that insane velocity. And and have it be just, just A-OK. -okay. Like, I feel like it just doesn't, it, there's just not a way for it to work out that way. <laughs> it just ain't gonna happen. Oh, you know what I need to do? Um, I need to check and make sure everyone's up to date here. Um, I was going to, yeah, because I like the sabotage. Um, so we'll add my one point there. Just auto level up all these dorks because I don't care enough to put the actual effort into it. <laughs> all right, um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and open that up. I don't know why I'm insisting on taking it all. I'm probably not going to bother changing out my equipment this late in the game. Like I'm just just being perfectly real about it. I see you. Still safe. Still safe. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go. I remember this place being kind of confusing to navigate. Oh, get out of here. Alright. Was this the way? Oh, actually, no. I don't think this was the way, actually. I don't think this is it. Stop. Just stop with the shields. Just stop. Just, just don't. Just don't. Dude, fuck me if this is the right way. I don't remember at all. No, this can't have been the way. This is not the way. Armature control? Yeah, um, you can manual override. Boop, 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 boop. Wow, I almost had it. I hesitated. I shouldn't have done that. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Oh uh, god, I hate these stupid little crawling ones. It's like it's like watching the ring or something. So uncomfortable. Also so irritating to try and hit these little scuttlers. Just every time you think you're gonna get them, they just skitter again. There we go. Okay, there we go. Alright, um This does not appear to have been where I was supposed to go. Nope. Yeah, I don't really remember this area very well. I remember I, I remember it being very confusing. Oh, let's see what you got here. Land cruiser. And it'll be a thousand tons. <laughs> Basically a battleship. Just 
just basically make it a big giant rolling hunk of metal that's impossible to destroy. I, I, that, that's, I mean, I can understand the logic behind it. Um, I question the uh, actual functionality of it just because keeping it fueled alone would be pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty daunting task, but you know what? That's, I, that's why I'm not in charge of these things because my brain just isn't uh, innovative enough to handle those types of ideas. So I guess the joke's on me. Um, oh, wasn't there like an elevator somewhere around here in like a random place that doesn't really make sense for it to be? Is that where I'm supposed to go? I don't remember. Man, I don't remember this area at all. I really just don't. It's really confusing. They don't offer you anything. Any like clues or something. Oh, I see. Oh, oh German World War II. Yeah, that makes sense. World War II was a time of uh, crazy innovations, that's for sure. This is definitely not where I'm supposed to go. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go for any of this right now. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. I've, I've done it before. I can't do it again. I will figure this out again. But I appear to just not be where I'm supposed to be right now. Oh, wait. No, never mind. There we go. There's bad guys. That's like an ultimate clue that I'm in the right place. If someone's shooting at me, that means I'm going the right way. Like RPG rule wa rules 101. If someone wants me dead, then I'm where I'm supposed to be. Aha! This is that elevator I was looking for. This is it. Yep, this is where we need to go. Everybody in. Everybody in. Hey, baby, how you doing? Garris, don't listen in right now. Hey, baby, we had a sweet night last night. Yeah, it was really hot. Garris, don't listen. Don't listen, Garris. That's rude. Um. <laughs> Half the size of Godzilla's leg. That's um, that's a unit of measurement I've never considered, but I think uh, it probably deserves to be used more. How many how many Godzillas is this uh, in size? Oh, it's about a it's about a half a leg. Like that's, I mean you know it kind of it gets the point across and people kind of have a good reference point for that, so might as well use it, right? I dig it. Would you stop? Oh, stop it, you. You stop it. Alright, um, how, how the fuck do I get down here? What the fuck am I doing? What kind of weird ass situation is, oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess we're, I guess we're in it now. I don't have a choice, I gotta do it. Yeah, I know I've got a lot of items, I don't give a shit. Came from there. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? This is always so confusing the way they do these maps, man. I get, I get so turned around so fast in, on this map, I hate it. Like, what am I supposed to do? What do I? What am I supposed to do here? Am I just like not supposed to be here? Did I pick the wrong route? I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Well, I guess we'll go. I guess we'll go back in and try it again. I don't know, man. Man, I don't know. Fuck, I'm so bad at video games. Like. Like, I'm so turned around. Do we have a map? Okay, so here's the map. That, oh, that's the elevator. Okay. So the elevator's over here. Okay. Okay, I need to get into a better position because I'm kind of getting wrecked right here. Oh, my God. These guys are so obnoxious. Oh, hold still. Hold still. No, you hold still, you stupid froggy bastards. There we go. There we go. Okay, wait. So here's our elevator then. So this is the elevator I need to go in? Fuck if I know, man. Garrus, don't listen in. Don't listen in. I'm going to flirt with my girlfriend now. Hey, baby. How's it going? Yeah, it was, it was a pretty sweet night last night. Wanna, you want to maybe uh, do an Aerosmith in here? You know, love in an elevator? Yeah, Garrus, don't look. Go, don't look, Garrus. It's awkward. It's, an, it's embarrassing, Garrus. I'm self-conscious about it, Garrus. Please look away. This must be the command center for the entire I'm just, like, awkwardly staring between them. Oh, boy. Alright, here we go. Elevators. Ah, uh, we ran out of time, baby. Next time. Next time, baby. Alright, alright, here we go. We're, we're definitely going in guns out. Um, oh, wait. I want to pull out this here. Oh, my, 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 my. 
her out. That's like my speciality. Uh, let's go ahead and do some damping on these guys and then maybe get an overload in there as well. Do your overload. Thank you. Go team, go team. Damn it. Oh, my nice sniper. My poor sniper, it keeps overheating. It can't be good for the battery. Damn it, I did it again. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's sabotage this guy. There it goes. Garrus, you son of a bitch. Buddy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I thought she just tackled him for a second. I was like, what the hell? My girlfriend's a psycho. I love it. All right. Uh, armature repair station? Yeah, I guess. It gives me something to do. Might as well. Ah, boop, 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 boop. Ah. Damn it. There we go. Is he on our side? Yeah, he's on our side. That's right. I mean, it's kind of too late now. It doesn't do anything, but, um, you know, we got it. That's kind of neat. It's pretty neat. Uh, okay, so we've got more of these if I end up needing them, but I don't think I need them really. I think I'll just kind of keep moving forward here. What, are, what, what, what am I looking for here? What? See, again, with the confusing ass fucking map here. Here we go. Aha! Security panel. Saren already has a head start. We have to go find uh, him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. He's not wrong. There is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. What do you have for me, you Prothean AI? Like kind of message, but I don't recognize the uh, uh -huh. Oh yeah, sorry. This is where we uh, discover that I like. No wonder we cannot understand um, it. Yeah, I understand it. We're just gonna like be smart about this and understand what's happening. It's because I have the, I have the weird psycho vision in, in my head. And that's why. It's it makes space logic. Just let it happen. Transferred into your mind. Makes me think of that one movie. Was it Lucy? Was that the one where it's like, oh, we've unlocked the other 90% of her brain. And she just starts spontaneously learning languages, which doesn't make any sense. Because it's not like your brain is pretty downloaded with languages and you have to, like, pay to play unlock them. You know, it's not like, uh, oh, give us $10 to unlock the Spanish module or whatever. Like, that's not how brains work. So it never made sense. This one at least offers the idea of, like, oh, they implanted memories, and that's, like, how you can memorize some of this stuff. Um, yeah, it's not clear. something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll just leave this thing. Just leave it alone. It's, no, we don't want it. We don't want it. Um, it's showing the X there, but I think we've already done the thing that we needed it to do. Oh, what's up here? I forget. Um, oh, 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 what's up here? Oh, oh, it's a whole lot of nothing. It's just a pointless thing they put there to distract me. That's so cool of them. That's so cool of them, you guys. See how cool of them that was? All right, are we going to be attacked by more guys or apparently not? Good. Although I could always just get myself some more of them armatures kind of get through it all. But that's not the route we're going to take. Because I don't need them. I don't need them. Who needs them? You know what? I think it's doing a bunch of auto-saving, which is actually making me think it's been a moment since we saved. Yeah, we already saved. And, like, the thing is, is we already we already navigated through the horrible, uncomfortable uh, sins of, of love that happened. So I'm thinking... Uh, best to avoid having to redo that, lest we lest we make ourselves even more impure than we already are. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Why is that blocked off? 
Oh wait, can I just go behind? Is that why? Oops, no, don't, don't put, put your fucking, put your. Oh, oh, I did not mean to throw a grenade. That's that's on me. That's on me, guys. If we blow up, that's on me. I I will accept the blame for that one. All right, so I guess I'm just going this way now. Aha! This is the way. This is the way. Um, elevator. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Just, just ignore Garrett. Just pretend he's not there. Just pretend he's not there. We're so in love. Like, aren't we just so in love? Like, isn't it crazy how in love we are with each other? And, like, how we don't care about anyone else. Like, especially not, like, Garrus or any of them. Oh, Garrus, I didn't see you there. Oh, hey, uh, so how long were you there? Were you, there, were you listening in the whole thing? Did you, did you catch anything that we were saying before that, before you showed up? Yeah? Okay. All right, buddy. You know, it's not cool to eavesdrop. All right. Um, so we're going to go here. But very slowly, because Shepard can only sprint for like two seconds before she's super tired. Uh, boom. Yes, now we're on a, a shoot 'em up run. Heck yeah! I can't wait to go flipping all over the map because there's a pebble in the road. I love the Mako. Also, super love how you can't turn it only a little bit so that it goes straight and it has to keep like wobbling back and forth. Super love that. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just there we go. They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep Exposition, learning about the Protheans. Cool stuff. Cool, 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 cool. Kind of a weird way to hide like loading screens and stuff, but hey, you know. Oh, oh, you guys want to die? Okay. I was going to let you live, but since you guys made it pretty clear you wanted to die, I mean, who am I to not grant such a such a simple uh such a simple wish? I mean, I have the power to do it. I'm I I really I owe it to you guys and to the concept of decorum in the first place to to take care of you guys that way. Ah, uh, beans. Oh no. What could be what could it be? What could be doing this? Why would there like what are we supposed to do except for going to this conspicuously opened door? Oh no. Hey baby. I have studied but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? I don't know, baby, but I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you safe. All right, here's where we get to. Here's the big reveal. You are not open perfect, vigil, but you are not. I remember the first time I played this game. I was so enraptured with this part. I was so like, so totally absorbed in what they were telling me about the lore of this world. I was so in awe of it and it was like one of the first uh, things that influenced me to really enjoy like when I'm doing my D&D writing it was one of the first things that got me to really enjoy the concept of creating lost forgotten civilizations and temples and dungeons and stuff of that nature like it was because of this game and the concept that there would be something with like remnants of of their society just left scattered around for, for us to find and try to piece together with no recollection of it whatsoever like, I was super into that idea. Still am to this day, truthfully. It's just I've played this one enough that it's I'm comfortable being sarcastic with it. Um, yeah, wh what does he want? I would love to break the cycle, Vigil. I'm on board. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government. As it was with us. I will, I will happily break the cycle. I do like breaking cycles. You know, well, rebirth cycles, genocide cycles, bicycles. Like, I love breaking them all. The Motorcycles, the empty void great the cycles to break. Horizon. So good. So when good. The Citadel relay is activated. The Reapers will pour through. And all oh, we know we'll be, will destroyed. be destroyed. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, Sin's gonna activate it. If he turns on the relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. I mean, by the sounds of it, it doesn't really matter whether the Soviet, whether, whether the, 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 the the Citadel gets wiped out in one fell swoop or not. Like, it's kind of game over once it happens. So, like, that's not really the concern, but uh, fair enough. If that's what resonates with you, Shepard, then let's let's use that. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Oh, excuse me. The Reapers systematically obliterated. I also really love the idea that this like world, kind of system, gives a like sci-fi explanation for like the the existing paradox of like why humans appear to be the only intelligent life. You know, like just the concept that it's like as soon as you get intelligent enough, like if something comes in and harvests you and wipes you out and like kind of Noah's arcs you. Like it's kind of an interesting concept. Um, yeah, all of you. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access <gasps> oh, to all records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. They knew everything. They knew all of our kinks. It was super uncomfortable. It was really embarrassing. We were like, "Oh no, they're gonna know about all of the kinky crap that I bought on Amazon." Like, how will I live with this embarrassment? So I died, and that's that. <laughs> Guess I'll die. Uh, that's right. That, I do remember that this guy gets kind of long-winded. But they've got a lot of lore they have to go over right here. Like, oh, like they're giving us our big, our big. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna cut to the chase here. Gonna cut to the chase. If it were a new game that I've never played before, I might. Um, I I might be more interested in hearing every single word they have to say. But for the sake of a stream on a game that is that like everyone has played a couple times, like we can just kind of cut to the chase here. One that's linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a back door onto the uh, Yeah, go on. What happened next? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. What's that, what's that one from? What's that was that Greece? Yeah, I think that was Greece. Not um to conserve resources. I always get Greece and uh, West Side Story kind of flip flopped. West Side Story was like the book first. And then Greece was basically like the musical version of it. If I'm remembering it properly. Years I think that's passed. what it was. Decades, centuries. I don't know. The Reapers persisted. I don't know. And my energy reserves were dwindling. Uh, yeah. So we just hid. Yeah, you should have fought, you dicks. The galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. <sighs> no, that's not. That's not what Shepard. That's not how Shepard thinks, though. Personnel. Shepard doesn't care about First the logic of it's impossible. Shepard only thinks about like, well, if you don't fight, then what value are you? I don't know Eventually, why I turned Shepard into forced gump there. The but, scientists remained active. You know, sometimes some Even sometimes you just get gumped. And you know and you don't know. <laughs> sometimes sometimes your girl gumps you and you don't <laughs> you don't see it coming. And the next thing you know, she's talking about chocolates and running and you just don't, you don't really know what happened. <laughs> that's how you know you've been gumped. Uh yeah, that's monstrous. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My <sighs> actions were as oh, you were sitting here trying to accuse a VI. Like, how dare you? How dare you, you machine? How dare you follow your programming? How dare you? I can't believe you did exactly what you were programmed to do. How dare you? You should have not. the only reason any hope remains. Like, how would that have been so hard to just not? Yeah. The nerve of some robots. only a dozen individuals left. Far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A uh, way to break the cycle uh, And they knew the Keepers were I know, key. I know. Okay, yeah, the Keepers, the Keepers. The, Reapers? the Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Uh -huh. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, 
when yeah, sovereign sent that, the nice and long winded. But we're getting the full history. The we are getting the full history. Um, yeah, unless Sarah Sarah succeeds. The conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. <gasps> oh, excuse me. My god, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Transfer of control of the station Other than that, it's late and I worked hard today. Sovereign like, I did two, I did two substantial workouts today. My two a days. Did my morning workout, which went really well, and then I did do an hour of rock climbing. Um, and when I say an hour of rock climbing, I mean an hour of rock climbing. I'm not someone who goes to the gym, does a route, and then sits around for like five minutes, and then does a route for 30 seconds and sits around. Like, I go and I take maybe 20 seconds of rest between each route, and I just I like bang them all out, and I bang out like the gym that I go to. I can get through. I can I can give every route an attempt usually within an hour, an hour and a half, depending on how quickly I'm climbing. So it was it was a substantial workout. My fingers are quite sore from it. Um, yeah, can you help me? So I suppose them? it's reasonable There's for me to be tired. But damn it, I'm getting through this. We're so close to the end go. here. I want to finish it. When you reach the I want to finish it. Master control unit, it's fun. To the station. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocol. Because if we finish this one, and then we can, once I'm back from all of my 4th of July weekend uh, festivities, I can uh, start Where's fresh with a new game, which will be fun. It's always fun. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Let's do it. No sense in dragging this out any longer than we already have. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. That's like she's not wrong, but we've already done this. Um, yeah, we're gonna say there's no time. We're in a race to save the galaxy, and you want to play Q and A with yeah. a hologram? Yeah. Look, look, you're my honey, sweetie, baby, but yeah. I'm sorry, my personal feelings clouded my judgment. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Liara. We should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Besides, it's not like not he's gonna self-destruct. We'll just like come back and add power, you know, so that way we can go. That way we can learn from him. Like I don't. I don't see why they would act like they would think like I'm sure they've got at least a little watch battery somewhere that keeps the date and time active like every device ever like it'll be fine it'll be fine all their culture all their advanced technology and the protheans were taken in by the reapers just as we were bottom <laughs> At least it's clothed that time. Boy, oh boy, we already had to go through the whole, the whole naked butt fiasco, and never again, man. Never again. Never again. And when I say never again, I mean never again until Mass Effect 2, and then we're totally going to see more blue butts. That's just how it's going to go. That's how it's going to go down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tight corner, up, 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 up. Come on, Mako. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Woohoo! And that's how you know there's no turning back right there. Like it's it's in. We're in. Well, I like how they basically made this a water slide. Like yeah, we're just gonna fucking we're just gonna fucking lose our way down. Hell yeah. You guys want to go? You guys want to go? I'm, I'm like, I, I am built for this. I'm ready for this. You guys have no idea how much I want to just take you all down. Put you down like the dogs you are. Are oh, you still trying shit? You still trying to bring it on, baby? You think you have a chance? You think you're going to win this one? You think you're going to have a chance here, man? I'm sorry, this would be more intimidating if I had, like, actually killed you, like, on the first try. There, yeah, see, you thought you had a chance? Look at, now you're season up. Now you're season up. Like, that's what you get. That's what you get. You're probably concussed. You should probably get that looked at by a doctor. Alright. That's what you get for trying to disrupt my super awesome water slide. Let's see, they haven't started the timer yet. Pretty soon we're gonna have a timer. And I just gotta, like, book it. Yeah, it ends up kind of being the smarter move to just kind of, like, book it through regardless of what the enemies are doing. Oh, 
Oops, oops, too, too sharp, too sharp. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Hi, there we go. Okay, I got my forward momentum again. Here we go, here we go. You know what I haven't done in a minute? It's going to be, now that we're getting towards the, the big bad here at the end, it's going to be important to be saving frequently just so that way if I fuck it all up and die multiple times, I can save myself a lot of time. That's right, and they freeze it so that way we can have a nice, clear beginning point. <coughs> yeah, we don't have time to admire the view, so let's force us to stop. Oh, that's right, yeah, because they've got to give us the exposition. they got to let us know what's uh, what's what's happening. Because we've got Squid Boy with his army of earwigs flying through the air. Look at it, like those the like the the Geth ones look like earwigs, right? Am, am I right? Am I right? Like other than not having the little pincer things on the back, they look like they look like little earwigs. Or maybe like fireflies would be a decent one too, lightning bugs. Like look at those things. They look like little beetle bodies or something. It's weird. I also like that that ship is just basically it looks like a big giant tank the way it's designed. Cracks me up. Oh yeah, this is where you have to make a decision on, like eventually we'll have to make the decision, do we save the, the council or not? I remember this. Oh no! Oh no, they've been gethed! They got gethed. They gethed them! Oh no, I've got like no seconds left, how will I ever get there? Oh no, and all these enemies, what will I do? What will I do to get past all of these enemies? that always shoot at where I am, not where I'm going to be. How will I get through this? What am I going to do? How will I ever have success here? What am I supposed to do? I did it! Yay! <laughs> oh, boy. And loading screen. <laughs> and then, one more time. This time with feeling, the Mako, so shall it be yeeted. And the Lord saw that it was good, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm disappointed we didn't get another uh, Han and Leia moment, where it's like, all of a sudden we see uh, Shepard and Liara like on top of each other, and the thing like, hi there. And then they remember, like, oh yeah, we're in the middle of a war. Oh, you want to go? You want to go? You want to do this? Is this really how you want to spend your day? Is this really what you want to do? And now we just sort of, like, chill in the elevator. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it did the glitch where I'm allowed to like move around. Like, don't worry baby, I won't shoot you, but I might shoot right next to you. It's <laughs> a long, awkward elevator ride to get up to the final battle here. Wow, dude, wow, that's like shooting a dog. What kind of asshole? What kind of asshole would do that? Uh-huh. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. Those ships do look pretty rad, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, the Turian ones look pretty, pretty badass. Like, I dig them. I dig them. Dig them, go big them. No! No! Oh, no! <laughs> they got smushed. I always thought it'd be really funny if it like the things like closed like a little pincer right on it and so things like wiggling like God get in. But it can't. Because they like tweezered it. I always thought that would be funny. But that's just not how it went down. This is kind of a cool scene for how it um, really helps you understand the scale of the Citadel. Because like the Citadel the Citadel? The Citadel always looked kinda tiny to me whenever I'm playing the game. But like when you see like with uh, Sovereign like how big the thing looks with him just kind of floating in it like it's much easier to sort of understand the nature of how monstrously huge this place is which then also begs the question like why is it that 
we are able to like so conveniently run into important people all the time but that's not important I mean I guess I know why it's because all of us are concentrated in like the Presidium locations and all that stuff because like we go specifically to the Citadel Tower every time oh yeah now we're moonwalking baby now we're moonwalking there we go all right, let's do this. Let's do this. I do remember this climb being kind of intense here. Um, I'm going to save. Yeah, we're going to save this. And you know what? I'm going to actually, before we dive into this final bitlet here, I'm going to pause just for like, you know, just, just for a minute. I'm going to go get myself a glass of water because I'm out of beverage. And I'm getting parched and my voice is struggling because it's the third time I've streamed today. Um, so I'm gonna go get something to drink. I'll be back very shortly. I'm not even gonna have the camera cut away. We'll just, I'll be back. Alrighty, let's get this done. Let's do this. Let's beat this bitch. That's okay. That came off aggressive. What I mean is, like, let's beat the game. Like, let's not, like, find someone, call them derogatory names, and beat them. I, I mean, I mean, let's let's play the game. That's what I mean. That's totally what I mean. Hold up, my headset's freaking out for a minute here. Give me a second. Give me just a second. Sorry, my Bluetooth headset was kind of getting a little cranky on me, so I had to tell it to stop trying to pair with things. So, we're good, though. We're good. We're good. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, I didn't think that was a hit. Was a hit. Um, or her. I guess it doesn't really specify whether they get or he's or she's. Or if they're like both or neither. This never really goes over that. But they they floating. They dead and floating. Okay, well there's clearly another one because the my allies AIs are trying to shoot something that's not paying that's not popping up. Which always means there's one more that's hiding somewhere. Okay. There we go. Gotta love the good old low gravity. I like that it's low gravity so their bodies go flying but we're just running around like it's normal. <clears throat> I know the implication is that we have mag boots but they didn't slow down our movement at all so it just kind of seems kind of weird and imbalanced. Oh lord, he coming! Oh lord, he coming! No, stop! Leave me alone! There we go. Um, just gonna give him some extra stuff out here for a second. There we go. Got him. Taken care of. No, you know what? No, no. No, just, just no, just no. Oh lord, he coming! <laughs> but I got him. No match for my crazy high-powered sniper rifle. Almost feel bad for him. He was so determined. But he stood 
No chance. Just like that guy. No chance. Uh. Man, we're just lighting him up. Hey, level up, level up. Take advantage of that. Yeah, I got our sabotage up a little bit more. Uh, Liara, auto level up, whatever you want, I don't care. Garrus, auto level up, whatever you want, I don't care. There we go. Yeah, we did it. Very thoughtfully. <laughs> That's on me. That was a bad shot. That was a good one, though. I was lucky that I didn't shoot my girlfriend, but, you know. Yeah, I know. To be fair, who hasn't occasionally shot their girlfriend from time to time when they ran in front of you in the middle of a firefight? Hey, couples problems, am I right? Hey, buddy, I don't want to deal with you. Oh, no. Oh, no, they got they got one of the big boys. Oh, Lordy, coming. Team. Teammates. Teammates. Help me. What the fuck are you two doing? AI in this game is so weird. No, not another big one. Uh, let's try and overload that guy. Let's see if that helps us out a little bit. There we go. I don't really know exactly what this guy's up to here, but he's being super sus. No, why are there an infinite number of the big guys? Come on, man. Oh, oh no, oh no. It's kind of damp him, maybe? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Guys, help, 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 help. I mean, later is better than never, I suppose. But still, come on, guys. Come on. Get with the program. Gotta get with the program. Oh my goodness gracious. I have so many of them. Okay. All right. Go. We're progressing. We're progressing. Oh, yeah! I saw the auto save flash. Let's do it. Let's see this one. Just because, like, that wasn't none of that was particularly hard, but it was time consuming. And I don't want to do it again. Like, I really don't want to have to do it again. That one open. Let's come over here and get this one open. Uh, begin the manual bypass. Easy, baby. Let's get over to this one. Go. So we just fend them off until all the players do their job, I guess. Super, super thrilling stuff there, game devs. Very complicated. Glad I glad I struggled for this puzzle. It's the struggle puzzle. Okay, it's now it gets fun. All right. So I think I need to go over here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Here's our doorway. Here's our pathway. Over here. Oh, it gave me an auto save, which I'm gonna just like play an extra safe. Keep playing it like super safe, and every time we get through a certain level of, um, oh my god, they threw a lot of the big boys at us here. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, oh my god, guys, you need to help me. You need to help me right now. There you go. I'm not gonna lie, the Krogan warriors are probably my least favorite to try and battle. Because they have so many of the biotic skills to just, like, make it so you can't ever do substantial damage to them. Right, like, look at him. He's just, like, constantly healing, always. And my team are always quite, quite inconsistent in their uh, willingness and ability to fucking help me shoot things that are trying to smash me. Oh, my God. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy poop. Holy poop, baby. Not, not, wow, there's no such thing as a holy poop baby. That's kind of a, I feel like that was just sort of a mis, misguided uh, swear there. Wow, I did like absolutely nothing to that destroyer. 
Oh, it's because it's a destroyer. Guys, guys. Yeah, okay, yeah, now you use the grab after I kill it already. Oh, it's just Garrus that's like struggling. Okay, you know what? We all need to just get some blood gel going on here. Would you just stop, you destroyers? Destroy you. It's so obnoxious how many they throw at you. Just like completely overshoot me like a bull. Oh god, he's flying around. Well, I'm just gonna not worry about him at this point. We're gonna go ahead and pretend that and just uh, assume that he's gone. <laughs> All right. Now we get to play some good old fashioned World War One style trench warfare. Everyone's favorite. I peeked up at the wrong moment there. Alright, resume last save. That's probably a ways back, though. Let's see, where did that leave us off? Uh, yep. Yep, okay. That puts us right back here. Fuck me, man. God damn it. The, the autosave really is garbage in this game, man. Watch him float off into space. So much glory. Wow. Can I, wait, can I, yeah, no, it's not gonna let me save right here. I think it's lame. All right, um, I do want the sniper out. Wow, Garrus, way to just stand there and fucking take it. Oh God, there he goes. Okay, um, I appreciate Liara for, like, staying kind of hidden. Oh, Jesus Christ, I thought she was about to go get herself killed. Liara! Oh my god, this thing's health is absurd. Oh my god. There we go. Alright, and we gotta do that for, like, all of them. Isn't that just super cool? Maybe I get myself into a bit of cover here. You know what else we can do here? Where's my, uh, where am I, where are my frickin', okay, there we go. Golly. Yeah, let's do some unity. Get Garrus up and let's all of us do some meta gel. They are at, maybe stand yourself into some cover. Probably the smarter approach. Just a suggestion. Not telling you what to do with your life. I'm really sure what this thing's shooting at, but it does not appear to be me for the most part, so I'm gonna like just accept that gift force, not look into the mouth. Oh god, yep, yeah, okay, there it was. Kinda almost got me. These things health is it's it's absolutely insane how much health these things have. Okay, there we go, we got one. Are you both down? God damn it, you guys. No, get out of that cover. That's not actually cover. Just stop. I can peg one more off there. Okay, do we have our... Charge us so slowly. I can get one more off. There we go. Do we 
have our unity. There we go. Let's get our unity up here. And let's get all of us. Use your freaking meta gel. What the fuck are you doing? Why are we not using our meta gel? Thank you. Oh my god. It's freaking out on me there. Get in cover. Get in cover. Why am I stuck on the world now? Oh, that was a close one. There we go, we got one more down. How are you guys doing? You guys are kind of leaving yourselves out in the line of fire there, but that's okay. Let's take this guy out. Down. Yes, buddy. A little repetitive here. The amount of health each one of these things has is a little absurd. Okay, Garrus, I'm going to I'm going to revive you, but I would appreciate if you, you know, accept this gift and try to not die quite so much from now on. Okay, As I feel like that's a simple request. You know, I think that should be a simple request, but I feel like everyone's looking at me like I'm expecting the world of them. Like, dude, I just want you to not die. I don't know. I don't know what's so extreme about that that ask right there. Uh, it's not like I'm asking you to save the world with me or anything. I'm just asking you to not die. It's as simple as that. You don't have to actually be helpful in saving the world. You just have to like distract the enemies from killing me, so that way I can save the world. Like, I'll take the glory. I'm fine with that. Man, look at me pegging these headshots. I feel like a champ right now, man. Yeah, this is so much easier without those turrets around. Can I? Aha! It's gonna give me that option now. Better believe I'm gonna save after all those turrets. Get done with that shit and move forward with my life. That's that's what I'm after right now. Yep, yep, yep. I'm fatigued. I know. I know. I know. I make her actually run. Kind of weirdo makes a soldier run. Boom, got him. Got he. Um, oh, I don't go. Oh, okay, so I do need to go this way. Got it. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Got it, got it. Oh, look at that. We're already pretty much there. Ooh. Ooh. Access hatch. I think so. I think this is a really good place to just make sure... Yup, there we go. Here we go, man. We're going in. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Oh, here we are. Oh, this is it. This is it, guys. Guys, I'm so excited. Yeah, we'll look sick. Yeah, we'll do the medical kit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know you guys weren't really there to see me kick an ass out there, but you really don't have a chance. Like I'm like I'm picking you guys off like one at a time, like blah 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 blah. Come on, pick your head out, pick your goofy little head out. Fine, I'll just kneecap you, you dick. Come on, man. It's it's time. It's time. It's time for something big and important to happen. It's happening. <laughs> Saran. 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 Hey, this is where we get to do the cool thing where we can like skip half the battle. Which is great. 
This is great stuff. I was afraid. Let's see here. In time, in time? In time this is where we gotta go full Paragon. We worked so hard to get all those points, and now's where we flex that good guy muscle. You've lost. You this is gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah, see, again, like, so, again, we can have the discussion again. Um, you know, Saren believing that it's inevitable, but somehow thinking that he's gonna gain favor. Like, does he not see the fact that no Prothean survived? Like, does he think that there wasn't a single Prothean who kind of thought the way that he did, and yet none of them survived? Does he really think they're going to offer him salvation? He's already had most of his, like, biological existence taken from him by being turned into a robot. Like, look at him. Yeah, what have you, you done? Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermin, like, look at him. Stop thinking about what he already said. really isn't a human. You know, so it's, like, so weird. Well, a Turian, but you know what I mean. You know what the fuck I'm saying. To eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place right, for you. You're indoctrinated. Sovereign's control. Yeah, we're leaning into it. We're going. We're going full Paragon, man. Like I say, we we took so we we went through the trouble to earn all those points. Now it's time to now it's time to prove that it was a worthwhile investment. Yes. They did like so. Okay, okay. Just like small bit of foreshadowing there. The union of the two, like that is that does come up in 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 number three. Like with the endings for three. Just just saying. Just saying. Yeah, we can beat them. We can beat them. We can do it. Saren, don't take this from me. I finally have a girlfriend. Don't take this from me. Don't you dare do this. Don't you do this to me. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Don't do this to me, Saren. I finally got kissed by a pretty girl. Don't you I saw her butt. I saw every curve. Don't do don't take this from me. Not true, Saren. I love you, Saren. Use the power of love. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Boom. There he goes. Boom. Tragedy. Sadness, but redemption. All right, here we go. Now there's absolutely nothing standing in the way. There's no bad guy fight. We were able to skip the entire bad guy fight. Not a Visual single thing happened. I've got control of all systems. Yep. Yeah, see, we everything went perfectly. On. There was no the fight whatsoever. We finished now. the game just exactly like that. Isn't that great? <laughs> so great how that worked out, and we didn't have to fight anyone at all. I love it. Yeah. To the Citadel. Uh, yeah, it's me. I'm here, Joker. It's me, Joker. Yeah. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel, and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you really willing to sacrifice human lives to save the Council, Shepard? Yup. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna save the Council. I prefer saving the Council. The council must be yeah, well, yeah. Good. Um, Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. Yeah, no, I remember this. Like, it makes way more sense to save the Citadel. Um, or to save the council. Like, they put it in the Paragon slot for you. Um, the, they make it sound like it's much more of a neutral decision than it really is here. Um, but in the long run, it's clearly, like, the good guy decision to save the council. Um... Cause, well, cause the thing that I never understand is if you don't do that, then it's like a human run eight, like, like galaxy, which doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, why wouldn't you just like get a new council of all the different races? But whatever, we'll say, we'll say, uh, save the council. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the ascension, no matter what yeah. the cost. Yeah. Cause they like, they make it sound like there's gonna be these like super dire consequences 
for going in with a human fleet right away, but there really aren't. Like, there's, it never, it never makes you face any consequences. Like, there might be a blurb that says, like, oh, there were heavy human casualties, which, like, of course is bad, but it's like, yeah, like, it doesn't, it, 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 there's really nothing substantial or meaningful, uh, meaningfully negative about that decision. So it makes so much more sense to just do that, you know, save the, save the council. Yeah. Yeah, this was like clearly the right decision. Cause they go in and they just absolutely run they they just absolutely steamroll. They don't just run over, they steamroll. Like all the gas. Like look at that. Yeah, see, and then the th things open. And then we concentrate and so we still concentrate and we still get the attack on Sovereign, right? So it's like what was really the point, you know, the decision. So Oh, there he is, all dead. Go get him, Garrus. You and your weird, your weird calf tentacles, calf antenna. There we go. He's dead. Yep, totally dead. Yeah, like it's weird that we had a, we went through a whole game and didn't have a single uh, single final boss battle. Oh wait! Oh no! It's a misdirect. Who would have thought? Oh no! Oh no! We have to fight the bad guy anyway. Oh no! It's all glowy and red. We have to kill him. We've got to kill him. We have to fight. I I did not see that. Who would have thought that we'd have to fight him anyway? Weird Robo. Weird Robo Sarah. So it's all like, oh my god. Oh my god. There he goes. Um, let's pull out our... Oh, pull out your stupid... Fucking, like, what's the point of the hotkey, you know? Let's, um... Get an overload on here. Overload. Sabotage. We'll just lay it on thick in the beginning here. I guess it's really not a bad idea. To just, like, lay it on with the powers. You can probably get a damping in there on them. God damn it, game. Should have waited until he stopped scuttling around. I do like that they gave him a lot of traits of a lot of the different types of enemies that we faced, you know? Like, I think that's kind of cool that it's all like, okay, we're kind of familiar with how this goes. How this, that, or the other type of enemy goes. Like, okay, yeah, like, <laughs> alright, adding in the other Geth uh, was a little bit of, like, so that's a little bit of is it necessary going on there with that one. Nothing really. How are we all doing for our health? We're our, uh, we are struggling. Use your goddamn. Oh god, we can't use the meta gel right now. Okay, you now use your meta gel. There we go. Yeah, I want to take down that guy. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's just really laying it on right now. Hold on, I. Okay, I guess I'm gonna use that and then. Why is my I didn't even use shield boost. Why is my shield boost like inaccessible right now? It's really bothering me. I need to like get myself some cover here. Okay, Liara is down. Got a unity that. And then let's get her some health. Take this asshole out. And then okay, shit, shit Saren has his shields back. Alright, alright, oh shit, 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 shit. This cover seems to be substantial. Okay, um... Oh, oh, we got something going on. No bloomers! Oh no, they're experiencing heavy casualties. We were kind of told that would happen, but this happens anyway. You know. 
so it's like whatever. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down, no matter what yep. the cost. All right, so we're back here. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, get a damping in there. We gotta really like take the shields down while we can. Do I have? Yeah, we got a sabotage on it. There we go. Guys, just lay it, lay it on thick. Guys, come on. You gotta, you gotta throw everything at him. Like when he's. There we go. Yep. Let's get a, an overload here. There we go. That'll help. Okay. Get the shot. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay. Good. Where did where did Saren go? Oh, there he is. Okay, okay, guy. Um, is that one of my things here? What what kind of powers do I got available to me? Let's get another overload on him. Okay, shields here. There we go. Good, good, good. Immobilize him like that. That's perfect. I want to. Let's get a sabotage going here. There we go. Come on, guys. Lay it on thick. Lay it on thick. Shields are down. We gotta go. Thin. We gotta go heavy. We gotta go heavy. Here. No, 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 no! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Hold still, hold still. Okay, okay. Now he's gonna fucking lay it on here. Ah, oh, shoot! My shield boost is not available. Get him heavy. Get him heavy. Get him heavy. We almost got him. We almost got him. Come on, baby. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That went better than I thought it would. First try. I'm pleased with that. I'm very content with that result. I did not think that I would get it done first try. Whew. Not because I didn't know what it was, like what to expect from the battle, nor because I thought it would be particularly hard. I'm just that mediocre. Like, I just assume it'll take me a couple tries for any big bad for that. Like, BBEG. Like, you always assume maybe a couple tries. That's what I was expecting. Excellent. Excellent, baby. Uh, and here's Joker's doing some sick ass fucking maneuvers here. I like how the ship kind of behaved as if there was gravity, but there's no gravity. Like, yeah, it's awesome. And Joker's like going through this thing. It's like all these big ass fucking ships with their big ass fucking ship cannons. Like, fuck that. I'm the fucking Normandy. Like, mew. Hell yeah. Oh no. Go. Like, of course, of course, it would go exactly there. Exactly there. Like, you knew it had to. You know, you know they had to do it. And they gotta make you wonder, like, but, but Shepard, what about, what about Garrus and, and, and girlfriend Liara? But what about, oh my gosh, just, oh my god, so much damage, oh my god. Did they make it? Did they make it out? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Why doesn't anyone have to have, uh... Why doesn't anyone have to have their helmets on, even though, like, the thing was breached, right? Like, it's like, it doesn't make any sense, but here we are. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Oh, no. Oh no, but Shepard's like dead now. Oh no. Oh! Shepard was turned into a piece of robot? No, how do we turn her back? Oh, like, ouch. We, we took so much ouch damage that whole time. But wait. But wait. What's that thing jumping around? Is it Saren? No, it's our hero. Of course, you didn't think we'd do our hero dirty and kill her off like that, did you? No way. It's Commander Shepard, and this is her favorite goddamn victory on the Citadel. Fuck yeah. <laughs> we did it. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. She's all like, yes. Of course I can't die right now. I finally have a girlfriend. 
Commander Shepard. Yeah. And we saved everyone. We gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle uh, to save the ba, city. Ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many oh, so noble men of them. and women. The Council they finally came around. Great personal debt commander, one we can never repay. They we finally came around. Lives, the lives of all it took was uh, almost the end of the whole galaxy for it to happen. Your heroic and selfless actions serve but we won them over. We did it. We won their hearts over. Their hearts and their minds. Because of our courage. Because of our humanness. To save ours. <laughs> we can honor their memories through our actions. <laughs> Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to... Ah, <sighs> long speeches. Long speeches. Counselor, Promises to stay in touch. Alliance, More speeches. Deciding which and guy accept. needs to be there we with their ping pong ball sized eyes. To fill <laughs> Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support mm -hmm. any particular candidate? Um, yeah, so like... This one's always a tough one for me, especially with like the lens of having gone through and played 2 and 3 before. Where it's like, it almost ends up being more of a mercy to not make it Captain Anderson. Like, they set, throughout the whole game, they definitely set it up to be, like, Captain Anderson is the good guy and Udina's an ass. But the fact is, like, realistically speaking, Udina would be the much more sensible choice. Um, I would say, yeah, I'm going to say it's not up to let me. The politicians figure this one yeah, out. we'll just let them decide. I agree with the commander. This is yeah, too important there we go. Like, that's, let's of do that. We will welcome your candidates with open Hi, Kitty. Whomever they may be. Sovereign Are you going to come sit in front the of the of camera the for or the, the monitor for the end? Yep, you are. Good girl. Yep. Um, uh, yeah, let's say this isn't over yet. So that way I can go into my heroics, the fight against the enemy. I don't know. It's like, I'm storming off. And they're all like, what the fuck? Everyone's all like, what the fuck is up her butt? Kitty... You're gonna roll all over Shepherd my keyboard right. and my Humanity mouse, and I prefer you didn't do that. United with the rest you know I would prefer that you didn't do that. Oh, I gotta look and see my... oh yeah, it is getting come, pretty warm in here. We must stand side by side. We must fight it's gonna cool down overnight, but because I'm just together, sitting here right by my desk, it's getting pretty warm. I know, kitty. Yes! Yes! Hero, blue background, paragon, and blue because we have a blue girlfriend now too, so you know, it's just all kinds of blue things. We're like that one song. You know, da ba dee ba da die. There it is. There it is, we got there. Kitty, you are just gonna press everything. I love you, but man, this weird habit of yours is well it's weird. I don't understand where this comes from. It's not even com like how can that even be comfortable? You're like half on my phone, half on the keyboard. It's not even comfortable. I don't understand. I don't understand. There it is. We did it. We beat the first Mass Effect. Ah, good stuff. Good stuff. It's such a good game, truthfully. Like, I, I rag on it all the time while I'm playing it, but I, I do love Mass Effect. I love the whole series. It's a solid game series. It's a really good one, and it's always worth a replay. I adore it. Absolutely, I am so into it. So, yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, I'd say that's a pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good place to stop the stream too. We're at almost two hours. That's good. That's good. I gotta think about if I want to dive right into Mass Effect 2 or if I want to try something else. In the meantime, I kind of want to just dive into two since I play two games at any given time, and we're also playing the Outer Worlds. Um, it's a lot of sci-fi going on, but I figure if we we're playing Outer Worlds and this, then after Outer Worlds we can do something else. Um, bide our time until Outer Worlds 2 comes out, which conveniently dropped like right after I started playing Outer Worlds, so that's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably end up having us just like run through uh, Mass Effect 2 right away. Um, you might as well go for it, right? But um, yeah, for now I'm just content that we that we finished it, we beat it. It's such a good game, it's such a good game. <sighs> But yeah, that's I mean, there's, that's all there is. There's no sense in sitting here. I think I've kind of 
potted and analyzed all of my thoughts on Mass Effect 1 in the process of playing it, so there's not a whole lot of afterthoughts. Good, solid game. Plenty of flaws that look a lot worse um, now that the game's like 10 years old or so, right? So it's like you notice a lot of things, but that's just because of age. Um, generally speaking, it's still a good game. As far as Legendary Edition goes, I would say good makeover. Good makeover, especially since you get three games for the price of one. Like, I think that's a really, I think that's a really fair uh, remake to have it all in one nice package there too. So like transferring your characters is really easy. Um, yeah, I think it's good. I think it's solid, and I dig it. I absolutely dig it. So um, cool. Thanks for everyone who stopped by. Thanks for anyone who joined me at any point on the journey for this game. Uh, thanks for anyone watching the VOD after the pack too. If you're watching the VOD, hi Twitch and YouTube and all that stuff. I guess that's what the cool streamers are saying now. Is like hi YouTube. Um, I don't know, that's not really my style. But uh, at any rate, yeah, no matter how you're watching, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun chit-chatting with people on playing games. Um, I think it's really enjoyable. Um, so hopefully we'll kind of keep doing that. Kitty, you're going to roll all over the keyboard if you keep doing that. And you're going to press all kinds of buttons and I'm going to get annoyed. But ultimately not do anything because you're too cute for me to be mad at. <laughs> but yeah, thank you everyone who stopped by. Um, Check out the VODs if you want. Um, for the rest of this weekend, uh, today is Friday, um, so all my scheduled streams are taken care of for the week. Um, there's a good chance I will stream at some point this weekend. I have a lot of family stuff going on, but there, I'll have a lot of downtimes in the evenings. At least I know I'll have downtime uh, tomorrow evening, and probably, I know I'll have time tomorrow morning. I'll probably be on tomorrow morning to play some Outer Worlds, um, because I'm, I'm playing through it and it's a fun game. Uh, probably sometime tomorrow evening as well if we wanted to stream. Um, so I may do that. Um, Sunday, unlikely. Uh, and Monday, maybe. Yeah, Monday will be different too. Monday, I don't know that I'll be back on Formula because I it's a holiday weekend, long weekend, so I'm spending time with family. Um, so, yeah, so, so this weekend and early next week will be kind of crazy, but we'll be back. I'll still be around. It won't be the same hiatus that it was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, all kinds of cool stuff coming up. Oh, and also, I think I finally kind of figured out a Discord. So once I figure out how exactly to manage all of the invites and everything like that, be looking uh, for the Discord channel. We'll get that up there. Um, particularly, I'm excited for writing in D&D &D communities. There's a lot of people with a lot of cool ideas that they like to share, and I'm excited to have a better venue for sharing that stuff. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. I will try and get that going by the end of next week because um, I finally figured out how to like set up a separate account and kind of build the server, so I think I've got it largely in order, um, and we'll experiment and we'll learn it together, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm still young enough that I can learn how to do technology. It just may take me a little longer than something like that. Yeah, so cool stuff coming up, but other than that, guys, go into the weekend in good spirits, you know, enjoy enjoy your weekend, spend, spend the weekend with people, whether it's a holiday weekend for you and your location or not, you know, spend the weekend with friends and family. Spread some smiles, spread some cheer, um, and just be good to each other. You know, like that's what makes the human that's, that's what makes the human experience worthwhile. Is to be good to each other. That's what I feel anyway. So, um, but yeah, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'm excited for the next time I get to see you guys. So, um, until then, take care of yourselves, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye, 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 bye.